if you're feeling you're ready to go, lie yourselves down onto your backs. And it might be handy today to, to have a block nearby. So if you don't, um, maybe take an item um, that will enable you to place your hands on it. So I'd rather tell you now what we're using it for. It will be a support for a half standing forward bend, maybe some balancing if we need it for that too. So have that near you, and if you can't think of anything today, even a chair close by or a piece of furniture that you can place in front of you to give you that little lift will be good enough. So um, lying yourselves down when you're ready, you've gathered everything that you need. Closing your eyes, if that's possible, and if not, just staring at a solid spot on the ceiling. Right now, my cat is staring at me, so <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, as you are lying down, hopefully no one is staring at you. So you feel you're within your safe space. And as you're closing the eyes and settling yourself, please allow a few movements to get you to this place, a place where you're feeling quite held and supported by the floor. Noticing your body at first and how that is feeling. As you notice your physical body, maybe go through it top to bottom, bottom to top. Acknowledging what you can find out about yourself. Noticing the breaths that is there, accompanying the physical body in its functioning. Maybe noticing that you've got thoughts, that they come and go, maybe some of them stick around for a bit. And if it is possible for you right now, take a deeper breath in, have a soft sigh out, and let all of that just be for a moment. It's easier said than done, so be aware that thoughts might come in, that your awareness might be drawn to something else. The card uh, that stood out for this practice is from the Rumi card deck. And the card itself is Star Mother Arrakis. There's a Rumi poem here in its translation into English. Be the king who has made his own kingdom. Be the moon that has made her own summit. How much longer will you cuckoo like a pigeon? Empty your head of all mortal lusts and become life without breath. You will not call out for God anymore if you have become immersed in God. Now, as usual, I will go a little bit deeper into this card towards the end of our practice. And I am aware that not everyone's comfortable with the word God. You could change or replace this word with anything that resonates with you. Or you could think of it, of that, that lies within you.
uh, connecting to that that lies within you is part of why we actually come to the mat. So maybe in this practice, although it is more physical, you can get a glimpse of that. I invite you now to explore more the flow of your breath. That, that we call life force or prana. As you notice or bring your awareness to the breath, it begins to change automatically. Maybe you've decided to tap into a breathing practice. And I invite you today to lift the energy a little bit to take a deeper breath in and then allow a pause that you feel comfortable with and then softly breathing out. And if you like, repeat that for a few times. You're breathing in deeply, keep it slow and expansive in its nature and then pause at the top of this inhalation holding the breath within the body for a moment, just as long as you feel comfortable with it and then breathing out. But rather than sighing the breath out, have that slight bit of control, but keep it gentle and flowing. Keep going with this idea of taking in, holding within before releasing. If you feel you're very comfortable with this hold of breath, you might want to extend that a little bit. Make sure that it doesn't get exhausting or that you feel you really need to breathe out now. Keep it within this range of slight comfort yet still extending. Allow that for another two breaths only and then let it go and return to the natural flow of your breath. As you have likely returned to the natural flow of breathing, you might notice that something has changed, either by changing your breath or by taking the time to lie down to shift your focus. Just notice what this change includes. Now, if your legs are out long, you might choose to keep them this way. If you've got your feet on the ground and you're able to extend, you might choose to extend the legs. Let's take a deep breath in and reach the arms up over the head. Stretching down either into the heels or into the toes, whatever feels better for you. Maybe having that idea of on the next breath in to just lengthen it to one side a bit more. As you're breathing out, then center yourself. Keep the body extended though. And then maybe repeating that on the other side as you're lengthening out. And as you release that, you might choose to bend the elbows a bit. Starting to lift the head lightly. And if that's possible, interlace the hands behind your head. 
keeping the elbows bent and on the floor for now as you're stepping your feet onto the ground. Maybe lifting a little bit through the hips as you step the feet down just to adjust the pelvis back into comfort. Then if that's available, let your knees roll open. Touching the soles of the feet together. As you're taking a breath in now, we still keep that gentle. Let your upper body still rest on the ground and slide your right elbow down towards your right knee and pause there for a moment. Notice what's happening in the torso here, that squeeze into the side of the right waist and the expansion and what that entitles on your left hand side. Center yourself again and we're still staying on the floor sliding along our mat as you repeat the same action to the other side drawing your left elbow down towards your left knee resting the head down and feeling into the squeeze on the left side of the waist and the extension of the right side and where you can feel that. Maybe it's not just in the side, maybe that extension has a bit more to it. Then bring yourself back into center. Now you've got the option this morning to repeat that again and rest it. If you feel more active, however, could you lift your head and shoulders off the floor? In that case, the elbows will lift off the ground as well. Your gaze, however, stays up towards the ceiling. And just this hold here is quite strengthening. If you want to move it, breathe out, bring your right elbow back towards the right knee. So the gaze at all times stays upwards. Inhaling, come to center, and then left elbow to the left knee when breathing out. And I invite you to repeat this movement for a little bit longer. We'll all have a different pace, so I won't tell you how many repetitions. Just moving into the sides of the waist. Keeping your awareness on these sides, the gaze up towards the ceiling, and of course the breath that accompanies the movement. Finding your balance with these movements, and once you've done them, even amount to each side. Center yourself again, lie back, Release the interlace of the fingers, let your arms fall out. And as the knees might still be open, notice how this is feeling. If this is good for you, you might keep it for a few more breaths. If it is quite challenging, bring the hands underneath the legs and guide the knees up and with that, the feet back onto the ground. Take a deep breath in through your nose and once more hold the breath within the body and then breathing out softly and slowly. Once you have completed this breath, return to a normal pace of breathing. I invite you from here to rise up into a seated pose. You can choose to bring the knees in towards the chest from here. Give them a little hug, have a rock from side to side. And you could then choose to rock forward and backwards if your spine is happy with that. Or you could just roll over to your side and then finding your way up into a seated pose. So once you've risen to sit, come into easy pose. If you prefer to sit on a support, you might take your block and pop that underneath or just a cushioning if there's no block around. So once you've come up to sit, just wiggle around enough so you can sit easily. Move the shoulders gently within their sockets, no excessive movement. Maybe there's little shimmies happening, opposite rolling, whatever suits the body. And then let's soften the shoulders down. 
keep your head in alignment with the rest of the spine, steady your gaze, or close the eyes if that suits. And as you're now breathing out, let your right ear drop gently towards the right shoulder, creating some space in the neck. Soften into the shoulders as you're holding here. And we are creating a half circle from there. So keep the chin lightly tucked in towards the throat as you lower the head. Feeling the stretch changing here in the sides of the neck. Chin is in now as we're centering and then moving the head over to the other side. And here, we, while the chin is slightly tucked in, we're starting to change that. As it lifts, we're turning the left ear towards the shoulder. Then lifting the head again. Take a deep breath in, let your shoulders lift up to your ears. And have a sigh as you drop. If possible, place the hands down now behind you and start to open through the front, taking a deep breath in to open the front of your body. Stay here for a full breath and then move in the other direction as you're crawling your hands forward, folding all the way towards the floor. Then let's walk the hands back up towards you. Place them again lightly behind and let's step the feet out in front. Lean a little bit back as we're preparing ourselves for a boat. Maybe the feet are coming off the floor. Maybe the hands are lifting. So hold with your inner strength and if it's available to you, take a deep breath in. Hold the breath at the top just for a moment. And as you're breathing out, coming back into sitting, just changing the cross of your legs. Beautiful. Let's shrug the shoulders again, wiggle around so you're finding your spot, maybe putting uh, that whatever you've heard underneath. And sorry, I forgot about that. Either steadying the gaze again or closing the eyes. And as you're next exhaling, let your left ear come towards the left shoulder. And maybe very slowly starting to move the head. While the shoulders are staying relaxed, bring the chin in closer and closer to the throat. The head is beginning to lower into the center. And keep that slow pace as you're moving across to the other side. And while you're starting to turn the head, the chin will slowly, slowly, slowly lift again until your right ear comes back to the right shoulder. From here, you will center the head again, drawing your hands once more behind you Taking a deep breath in as you start to open through the heart space, bringing the head back, creating openness in the front of the body. Stay there for another deep breath in. And then moving yourself forward again into that soft forward fold. Pausing here. Again, deep breath in and full breath out. And as you're walking your hands back, rising to sit within this seat, take a breath in and stretch both arms up towards the ceiling. Now I'd ask you to bend over slightly towards the right hand side. Now let's uh, bring the left arm down by the side and take a hold of the head with the right hand. Left hand fingertips might come to the floor, they might not. 
And as you're encouraging the bend a little bit deeper, you might draw your chin back in towards the throat and maybe even gently beginning to look upwards. Please be careful here. We're bringing more space into the side of the body and including the neck. Center yourself again as you take your next breath in, lifting the arms, bending over towards your left. And as you're holding here, let the right arm release. Maybe the fingertips touching the ground and the left hand takes a hold of the side of the head. See if you can come a little bit deeper into the side bend. And again, please be mindful with the neck. Only if it shoots, tuck the chin in and start to turn the head, looking slightly upwards. The hold here of the fingertips is very gentle. As we come back into the center, both arms lift on the inhalation. Let your arms release. Bring your hands or fingertips back behind. Step your feet out in front again. Find the length in the spine, the space between the sit bones. And there's that same choice once more of lifting the feet, maybe lifting the arms. And you know your extensions. If you want to take it deeper, arms and or legs can extend. Let's breathe in fully and hold at the end of the inhalation. And as you're breathing out, let's swing the arms around, the legs around and come up onto all fours. I really want you to create space here today in your practice. Let's do that on the sides once again. Spread your hands out, find a solid all four stands, knees at about hip distance apart, head might be slightly lifted. And we'll begin with the right hand side. As you take a breath in, let's lift the right leg up. And as you're breathing out, swing the leg across, tapping the toes onto the ground, feeling maybe that there's length already coming into this right hand side. And if it feels good, then lift the right arm as well. Maybe just reaching it forward or bringing it over towards the left as well. If it then feels right, Lower the heel and stretch that arm over the head, finding a side plank. Now, as you know, side planks might be extended into a full side plank as you could lift your lower knee. Then bring the hand down and turn to the front plank or kneeling plank. And as you exhale, come down onto the mat for the first time on your front. Taking a breath in as you're lifting head and chest for a gentle cobra. Hold it here or breathe in and reach the right arm forward. And you can now guess what's coming as you're breathing out, maybe stretching that arm across while keeping that light lift of the chest and the head. Placing the hand down, release your nose towards the mat. Inhale as you come to all fours and our breath extended child's pose. Inhaling, rounding up, returning onto all fours, finding your stands again. Knees, hip distance, hands, shoulder distance. As you're inhaling here, let's extend the left leg back. Swing it across towards the side and maybe touch the toes to the floor. Experiencing potentially the length in the left side of the body. Maybe you want to increase that. You could reach your left arm forward or even also across to the left hand side. Finding your length. And from there, the next extension could be to lower the heel, reach your arm over the head for a side plank kneeling variation, or you will lift the lower knee as well and extend it to a full side plank. Let's release the hand down, finding your plank or kneeling plank, 
And on the next out, rest lower again towards the mat. Untap the toes. As you inhale, lift your head and chest. Shoulders stay relaxed, hands lightly supporting. If you feel this is wonderful, stay here or reach your right arm forward and maybe taking it across. Holding here, head, chest still gently lifted. Then release, bring the hand down, bring the forehead down to the mat. Inhaling all fours and extending back, hips to your heels on the out breath. On your in breath, come back onto all fours. Tucking the toes under and exhale to your first down dog. And as you might all be aware, you can walk out your dog. You can walk out hands as well as feet, bringing movement into the shoulders, into the hips, whatever feels right for you at this stage. And then from there, beginning to walk, not just on the spot, but your feet towards the top end of your mat. Once you reach there, allow the upper body to still be heavy, the head to hang down, the shoulders, the arms. Maybe the hands now slide up the shins as you take a breath in to lengthen to the front of the room and then breathing out to soften down again. And you might repeat that action a few times, half lift on the inhalation, stretching the spine forward. And on your out by softening again into Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Breathing into half lift. And maybe you're holding lightly here at the top, not just the posture, but also the breath. And then folding again on the out breath. Do so once more if it feels good for your body. And once you have completed this round, engage lightly into your pelvic floor and begin to roll up on your elbows. As you take a breath in, lift the arms, bring them right up towards the ceiling. Gaze might be lifted or forward. And as you're next exhaling, bending towards the right, let's stay with that space in the left side of the body for a breath or two. Letting your right arm fall, relaxing it down, even into the shoulder. Then bend your knees and circle your arm into a standing forward bend. On your in-breath, return to half lift. And on your out breath now, let's step the right foot back into a lunge. You might lower the knee down onto the floor, untuck the toes, and maybe even leaning a little bit forward into the lunge. If you like, from here, take a big breath in, lift the arms. You could come into a slight back bend as we're beginning to create space in the front of the body once again. And on the out breath, releasing the hands down. There's an option here to stay on your knees or to come right back into downward facing dog. Please, as you all know, there's many variations in these flows and I invite you to take your own. As you breathe in, come forward into plank or kneeling plank. Exhale and release to your mat. Untuck the toes. As you're inhaling, lifting into your straight cobra and breathing out to release again. Inhaling all fours or straight into down dog where we meet again. If you still need movement in your down dog, please do move it. Then have a moment of stillness within the down dog. And if this breath suits you, if you need that little bit lift in your energy levels today, 
inhale again pause whatever length is comfortable then breathe out and when you then inhale lift your right leg up and on the exhalation, taking the right foot forward between your hands, please lower the left knee down, untuck its toes, and begin to lean the hips forward if that suits. Your choice of remaining here or lifting the arms up, arching backwards, creating space in the front. Maybe the hips are still leaning forward. On the next out breath, bring the hands back down, tuck the toes under, lift the knee and step to the front, exhale. Inhaling, coming to half lift, exhale, fold. While you're breathing in, rise it all the way up, even extending the arms up, maybe lifting the gaze. As you settle into the stands, the gaze might stay there or come forward. Inhale here again, fully extended body. And on your out by bending towards the left hand side. And let's stay here for a moment. In the opening of the right hand side, the left arm might come down. Give the shoulder movement, relax the arm. Then bend both of your knees and start to roll your shoulder forward, returning to a standing forward fold. On your in-breaths, come to half lift. On your out-breaths now, stepping your left foot back into a lunge. Once more, we keep it kneeling, bring the knee down onto the mat. We will change things a little bit. So while you stay on your knees, lift your upper body, take a breath in, arms reaching up. You might swing the left foot a little bit around as you come to warrior two arms, palms facing upwards, leave the shoulders relaxed. Your gaze is forward as you look into the palm of the hand. What is it that you have to offer for yourself today? And then exalting that, dancing it out as the hips might lean a bit forward, reaching the right arm up. The left hand might just rest against the thigh of the back leg. Like a dancing warrior in a way, as you roll your shoulder back in to release that. Let's swirl the arms around, place the hands back to the sides of the front foot, swing the back foot back in. If you like, you can step back to your knees, puppy pose, or straight into a downward facing dog. Finding your flow, nothing different here. As you breathe in, roll the spine forward to get into your plank or your kneeling plank. And when breathing out, lower. Your inhalation, cobra or an upward facing dog. And your out breath is again your own transition over knees or toes while we meet in a downward facing dog. You can always move your down dog in my classes. But if you're keeping it still, just look that you're getting the benefits of the steadiness of the pose, the length in the spine, a bit of openness around the shoulders. So we're not shrugging the shoulders upwards or squeezing in the shoulder mates. Keep some space in the upper back. I invite you for one deep breath, a short pause at the top of this breath and a breath out. And when you next inhale, lifting your left leg up. On the out breath, bringing the foot forward between the hands. Lower your back knee again. Maybe the foot already swings a little bit over. As you take a breath in, lifting yourself up, arms reaching up. And when we breathe out, we're opening the arms, palms facing up. It's like a turn to the side, similar to warrior two. Same here, keep your gaze forward into the palm of the hand. That that you have to offer, to give to yourself might be the same. 
extending this as we flow lifting the arm resting the back hand down you can keep your gaze up into the palm or change it finding the reach and the extension here into the left side and to release that rolling in swirling the arms around to the front end of the mat tuck the toes under lift the knee now let's step the foot to the front on the in breath find your half lift on your out breath bending forward staying here as you're breathing in and even when breathing out remaining within this forward bend your support such as a block might come in handy now as you could place your hands here lifting on the inhalation for a hold of a half lift so the block or support here quite useful to maintain the length if you're easily able to hold with your fingertips on the floor within a half lift that's fine too we just need something to hold on as a support keeping your gaze down onto the floor shifting the weight into your left foot and let's lift the right leg out towards the side give the whole leg a few circles keeping it quite stiff as you might have started circling it forward or backwards just changing the direction we're in a little bit of a balance and some strength work as you're holding here maybe now circle your foot same here do it in both direction and then point the toes and step the foot down so your stance becomes quite wide you might take your block or support into the center keeping the length of the spine as you breathe in bend both of your knees for a moment let your hips move backwards we are twisting as you breathe out push down into both feet and begin to peel your right arm open this could be that you keep the hand in the side or in your lower back or that you're extending the arm notice that it's likely that we're not quite centered in our stance see if you can center it out using still your support and then maybe circling into the wrist so the hand is moving here fingers are moving and the same here do so in both direction and then release release it all the way back down into a forward bend take a breath in half lift position place the block back into the center step your right foot in keeping your half lift here shoulders relaxed gaze down shift the weight to the right foot and lift the left leg out to the side as you start to circle a stiff leg at first noticing which direction you're going change it then bring the leg to a hold and circle only your foot so moving more into the ankle joint other direction then point the toes land the foot down again a slightly wider stance adjusting your support so the spine is long and straight pause here shoulders relaxing again as you inhale bending into both of your knees let your hips sink back we're twisting now push into the legs as you breathe out start to peel your left arm open and the same here if you've got shoulder problems or something speaks against a lift of the arm just place the hand into the side somewhere notice if your balance or if your hips are out of balance bring them into the balance feel the strength in your legs and then start to move into the wrist and into the fingers of the left hand changing direction and then release releasing your back down into forward fold inhaling lift halfway 
stepping your foot back in center yourself you might not need the support now just folding forward as you inhale come back to half lift and from here walk step your feet back into a downward facing dog so much forward bending let's breathe in roll the body forward plank on kneeling plank and on your elbows lower back down onto the front of your body i would love you to extend both arms long towards the front very similar to how we were lying down on our backs placing the arms out long as you're walking your feet over towards the right and then doing the same with the arms keeping your body still down now if it feels good push into the arms and lift the upper body and maybe there's more lengths coming in now only if you're feeling right lifting the left arm maybe the left leg maybe both legs and then center yourself as you breathe out now let's walk the legs to the left and maybe the arms too finding length in the left side of your body and as you keep the legs down press down into the hands lifting the upper body head chest and then maybe even the right arm if this feels good you might lift your right leg too or maybe both legs keep the reach across to the left and then soften down let your hands slide back down by your side take yourself back downward facing dog over knees or toes on your next press in lifting your right leg up and then stepping the right foot forward on your elbows and ask you to soften into the left knee and curl up on your next exhalation lifting the arms up tall as we're in a high lunge this time please soften down into your stance take a breath in as you are and then open the arms out on the elbows turning towards the right hand side inhale now lift the arms lower the heel of the left foot arms open again same as we did kneeling palms facing up let the shoulders soften keep your gaze forward for now warrior two variation option now to exhale this as you take a breath in leaving the left hand quite weight free gently just touching the back leg let's bend the back knee roll the arm in lifting again to the heel of the back foot inhale again find your high lunge and then twisting once more towards the right hand side palms facing up shoulders relaxed now i'm aware that we are here in balance so your gaze is up to you and if it feels right lifting again exalting near the lunge right and fingertips might gently touch the back of the left leg let's release that roll it in bring your hands down onto the mat maybe you're bobbling a little bit like myself and step the foot back into a downward facing dog take a breath in as you're rolling the spine forward making your way back on the exhalation towards the mat if it suited you reach the arms out long again long into the toes now please feel free to repeat the side bend that we took 
by lifting into a back bend, arms extended, or lightly place your fingertips behind the head. Lifting up, if that is your choice, head and chest, elbows, grounding down through the legs. And on the out breath, then moving over to the right, that squeeze into the right side of the waist. Hold here, extend into the legs. Inhale, center. And then maybe repeating that to the left. Holding again, if that suits. Inhale, center. Hands down. Exhale, forehead down to the floor. Your choice of returning into a downward facing dog. Breathing in and out of the nose. Maybe having a brief hold of the breath at the end of your inhalation before you're gently breathing out again. On the next in breath, then lifting your left leg up into the air. And on the out breath, stepping the foot forward in between the hands. Stay as you inhale. Curl up on the out breath. Lifting the arms up into a high lunge. And as you're exhaling, turn to your left. Open the arms into a tall standing twist. As you inhale, lift the arms again. Now please lower the back heel again down, finding your warrior two, but with the palms facing upwards. Relax the shoulders, bring the gaze back into the front hand. And we exalt as you take a breath in, lifting this arm. Now on this side, it's possible to look up if your neck is happy, but please feel free to lower the gaze if that's more suitable. Feeling the gentle touch of the hand on the back of the leg. To release it, bend your back knee, circle your arm in. Circle the arms around as you lift your heel and breathe in to rise again, high lunge. Once more, twisting to the left as you're breathing out, palms facing up, soften into the shoulders. Now be aware that there is some balance here. And as you inhale, lift the front hand. Maybe the fingertips of the back hand can touch gently against the back of the rear leg. Let's release that. As you're swirling the arms around, place the hands down either side of front foot. Let's step to the front, taking a breath in for half lift. Breathe out to fold. Inhale as you stay there. And then exhale and roll all the way up into standing. On the in-breath, lifting the arms. You might choose a Charlie's Angels Mudra as you interlace your fingers and touch the index fingers together. Keep your gaze forward now. Find strength in the posture. Let us breathe in and poke the right big toe behind even more length. And as you're breathing out, then finding a warrior three. If long arms is too much, just take the mudra down in front of the chest. Flex the foot, point the toes, the hips, the gaze down towards the mat. Warrior three. And we might stimulate that a little bit further. As you release the interlace of the fingers, bring your arms out and lift your knee at the front. We're switching this over into eagle pose as you're crossing the legs. Right arm goes underneath the left, either shoulder embrace or the full palms touching. Leave the shoulders low again. Find your stance. Maybe elbows slightly lifting forward. If you want to take this a bit deeper, sink a bit deeper and maybe leaning the body forward.
then unwind, lift your wings, your knee, and land onto the mat. Movement if you need it. Steadying the gaze. And on the next in breath, lifting the arms again. Now change the interlace for your Charlie's Angels Mudra. Arms extended, body starts strong and tall, gazes forward, feeling the connection of fingertips to the soles of the feet. And as you keep this length on the next in breath, poke your left big toe behind. And on your out breath, then entering warrior three in the variation that's right for you. You can keep it long or you can bring the hands in front of the chest again. Flexing the back foot, toes, gaze, hips facing towards the ground. Let's unwind it. Take a breath, lift your wings, your knee. Cross it over, finding your eagle as the left arm swaps underneath the right. Palms might be touching, shoulder embrace. In any case, relax the shoulders and maybe lift the elbows lightly. As you could choose to stay here or go a bit deeper as you bring a deeper bend into your legs and lean the back forward. Steady your gaze. And let's fly this out as you take a breath in, lifting again and release. Moving gently and maybe moving closer towards the back of your mat now. On the inhalation, Lift the arms, take a light back bend if that works for you. And then do the opposite as you're breathing out and fold all the way down and forward. Relax the neck. Inhale to your half lift. And then let's walk the hands forward. Finding your down dog. And we will use this down dog as a simple way of spending some time upside down. If this doesn't suit you, happy pose will do. The head is still quite low. Keep your shoulders open if you're choosing a down dog. Aim for stillness in this one now. And make sure that the knees are slightly out of the lock. So you can really stretch your tailbone up as if you were to tip over the pelvis as in the content that lies within if you think about a bowl of water that is and let it cascade down the back, all the way back into the ground, maybe coming down through the bowl of the chest, and off the shoulders, and into the hands and fingers. Make sure that your neck is relaxed, there's nowhere to look, and you could shake the head gently as a no. Do whatever you don't want. And then also a yes. If it is possible for you to stay here, stay for another three breaths. And you might choose to pause briefly at the end of the inhalation. This will be the last time that I offer this pause of the breath because then we will be slowing down. Once you have completed your breathing or you think it is enough, come to a relaxed child's pose. Sitting your buttocks back towards the heels, the arms might softly be extended towards the front. And if it feels right, otherwise you could also come into full child's pose if you prefer. You might walk your hands or arms softly and you can keep them bend over to the right and then rest there and you might find a place for your head to rest. You 
foot changing sides as you make your way to the left. And again, this is not about a big stretch. It's just of maintaining the space we've created and to relax the head down, to relax the whole body into this pose. Bringing your hands forward. And if this works for you, just sit over towards the side and very gently come into a seated position, taking your legs out in front. There's no need to pop anything underneath you, just walking out a little bit through the sit bones, bending the knees. As you take a breath in to lift the arms and we will breathe out and just rolling down onto the back. Grab everything that you need, such as socks, blankets, cushioning. And as you're rolling down, bring the knees up and in towards the chest. And you might take a breath in where the legs are extending to the ceiling, the arms are extending over the head. And a breath out where you're hugging the knees back in towards the chest. If that felt good, repeat it a couple of times. So heels extending to the ceiling together with the legs and the arms over the head. That's your inhalation. And on the exhalation, the knees coming into the chest. From there, stepping the feet down to the ground. The arms might come to relax. So you soften or wiggle out your shoulders. If this is suitable for hips, knees, lower back, otherwise find your own way here. Let the knees fall open for a moment. If this is not yours, keep the knees up maybe or extend the legs over your support. And I will from there invite you all to lengthen the legs out, finding your Shavasana pose, whether that is supported or flat on the floor, up to you. Same as when we begin, let's move the shoulders, let's move the hips, wiggle yourself into a position that feels good for you. No more strain, no strength, not even a stretch allowing stillness to come in to the body. Allowing yourself to notice the body once more. The feeling that there is the body in contact with the ground underneath. That feeling of the gentle flow of your breath. as the body flows right there within the stillness. You might choose to listen to a little bit more about star mother Marrakis.
He dances in the embrace of Father Sky, shining white and pale, deep in devotion to the light behind all that is. It is mighty your guidance to lay down your old weapons when new technology awaits you. It is the most magnificence of forces, that of divine alignment, of surrender to the Star Mother and her way of luminous potency. her great vantage point, the vastness of problems of our earthly mindsets are merely in need of a quick witch by the tail of a comet. And this she early achieves by flicking a strand of her hair or poking out her tongue. In the hands of a greater being, even your deepest trials will succumb to divine victory. Your ability to make the journey will be strengthened. And your success only a matter of a passing of time. Can you give yourself this gift, this blessing of the love, power and protection of your star heritage? We all descend from the stars, but some of us are asked to remember to acknowledge the divine parentage from which we come and to allow the innate divine dignity within to restore us to faith in the path here on earth. No matter how dark life on earth may seem at times, when we remember our holy heritage, we can also realize, yes, I am blessed, held as one with the mother who shall not be deterred from great holy purpose. I shall prevail. I forgot that and feared, but now I remember and am determined once more. Then you shall feel joy and be inclined to dance, to sing, to make your art, and to live fearlessly once again. So you might choose to deepen your breathing now. Turning awareness to movement and sensations within the physical body. And making your moves, whichever ones you feel are right. To take yourself back into a seated pose. Maybe closing the eyes again as you touch together the palms of your hands comes lightly to the sternum. Tapping into the heart center is also a center of joy when opened. And you might put a very gentle smile on your lips, feeling like it or not, a fake one will do. Acknowledging each other with a light bow. Namaste. <laughs>